let's quickly look at this problem class if tan theta is 5 over 12 find cos sine theta plus cos theta from our knowledge of trigonometry we know that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent and from this we know that it is 5 over 12 what does it mean opposite is 5 and adjacent is 12 let me draw this being a right angle triangle if this is the right angle side this is the reference angle theta that means here is opposite here is adjacent and uh, this is of course the hypotenuse the hypotenuse okay if from this it means that opposite is five it means that adjacent is 12. what is the hypotenuse pythagoras theorem we know that uh, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the opposite. Let me use P as the opposite plus the square of the adjacent. Uh, A for adjacent. So substituting, we have this is equal to 5 square plus 12 square. Okay. 5 square is 25. 12 square is 144. If you add two of them, you have 169. That is the square of the hypotenuse. So h becomes square root of 169, and that is 13. That is 13, yes. All right, why did we need to find this hypotenuse? Because we know that sine theta, which we need here, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, right? Now we know hypotenuse, opposite already is 5, hypotenuse is 13. Again, we know that cos theta, is adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent already is 12 hypotenuse is 13 12 over 13 right therefore sine theta plus cos theta becomes 5 over 13 plus 12 over 13 permit me to continue here all right, addition of fractions, and these are fractions with common denominator. The common denominator is 13, and then we add the numerator, 5 plus 12. 5 plus 12 will give us 17 all over 13. This is an improper fraction. If we change it to this fraction, it will give us one whole number, 4 over 13. And this is our final answer. Thank you for watching. Please do well to subscribe to our channel. Like, comment, and share. Please.